<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, okay. I've been laughing all day. Ooh, deep breath. Deep Deep breaths. Alright guys, so today I just have to get something off my chest and something that I've been called out for recently and it's the funniest thing in the world. <sighs> okay, so a couple of days ago my homie Rug and this guy named Flight Reacts 1v1'd in a basketball game and Rug won. Flight Reacts is at least three inches taller than Rug. That's one. Two, weighs a little bit more obviously because he's taller. Three, he's been practicing with an NBA trainer for the last two months. So guys, all that being said, you would think, okay, this guy's kind of nasty at basketball. He knows what he's doing. It just didn't happen. The rug came out with a dub. That's my fing guy. Hit him with the one, two. 13 to two, flight. 13 to two. So, flight actually made a video calling me out saying that I was in the way the whole time. So, with that being said, I want you guys to react with me. I was not getting in the way of anyone in the game. I was literally recording it. I was going around the court. This kid's obviously tripping. And, flight, maybe by the end of this video, I might have to 1v1 you. So, let's get into the reaction. I understand people recording for each other, bro. But why the f is there like an NBA broadcaster type of cameraman on the court all the time, bro? Why is there a cameraman on the court at all times? Dog, we're recording it for YouTube. And on top of that, I knew this was going to go in Sports Center because, you know, rugs lit. So obviously, I had to get the best angles and best shots of you absolutely just getting destroyed. Let's just continue with the video. Look, even right there, the cameraman was in the way. I had to avoid it. I had to go the opposite way for me to do something, bro. Another example, bro. The cameraman is in the way, bro. Like, I low-key wanted to go around him, but I have to limit. You see? what this is doing bro I'm not making excuses it's just i have to be more courteous on what i have to do i'm limited to what i can do bro okay so flight here's the thing if i'm recording the game and you have to watch out for me doesn't rug have to do the same thing aren't you guys playing at the same exact advantage or disadvantage however you want to say it i was always at least a good distance away from you here's flight's foot i'm all the way over here i'm limited to what i can do bro you know what you know what flight you flight flight you're right thank you for being so courteous bro all right so what i got from that flight is you're just the most courteous person in the world can we please get a hashtag in the comments right now flight is courteous he was actually just paying attention to me the entire time instead of actually trying to win the 1v1 with that being said flight recently you played a 10 year old in a 1v1 and you won you counted it as a win so if you can play a 10 year old you can play a cameraman if you want a 1v1 i'm right here and obviously this isn't bad blood between me and flight i actually don't even know him that well i'm sure flight is a very nice person but if you're gonna blame me for being in the way i think i'm gonna have to 1v1 you all right so now that i reacted to flight i need to challenge the kid all right flight i want to 1v1 you but first i want to go around the face house and kind of see like do people think i'm gonna win oh sh what's up jarvis what are you doing what, what are you up to i don't even know that Possible. Okay, what's up, bro? How you doing? I wanted to ask you something real quick. There's this guy named yeah. Flight. You kind of already know what's going on. I kind of want to challenge this kid to a 1v1. Do you think I'm going to win? Or like, what's up? You. Yeah. Basketball. Yeah, yeah like shooting hoops and Like, nah, I don't. I know Flight is bad. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm good at basketball, but. Think about it. Like, Flight played a 10 year old kid and won and counted it as a win. Can you be a 10 year old kid? Yes. Bro, I don't know if you can. All right, that's cool. No, I, I respect your opinion. I, I respect you, your opinion. I love you, bro. You're dog shit at basketball. Thank you, bro. Man, so Jarvis doesn't think I'm gonna win. I don't know, it's kinda messed up. Oh, what's up, T up? Oh, what up, Noah? How you been? I'm just practicing my hoop. Okay, speaking of that, there's a guy that I'm challenging named Flight. I'm challenging him to a 1v1. So, man, do you think I'm gonna win? Noah, let's all be honest, you did get into his way and made him lose the game. How? Just get out of his way. I was filming the game. How else was it gonna get filmed? You're the best cameraman, you gotta figure it out. I think you're just gonna have to prove yourself because it's 50-50, Yeah, honestly. you're right, you're right. I, I respect the opinion, thank That's you, T up. Let's play chess right now. Where's the chess pieces? Oh, we need chess pieces? It's not looking too good on the opinions around the house, but oh sh Yep, Frazier. What's up, brother? Off, oh, man. Alright guys, so I just drove two hours from LA to San Diego. I just want a homie's opinion. Oh, what's good, Brian? Wait, what? Why are you here? <laughs> We don't film today. Wait, what the That's heck? Good, What's G? up? <laughs> Are you surprised to see me? Well, yeah, I didn't expect you to be here. Look, I know you played flight, right? You played flight, you beat him. We're still it talking about that embarrassment? <laughs> come on, man. Wait, come on, that was so last week. Okay, but it is what it is. I'm going to 1v1 him. 
That's the thing. What? I'm gonna one v one fly. You're not one v one fly. At least I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge him. Wait, to a 1v1. you're challenging fly to one v one. Bro, shut up, dude. Listen, what should I do in the game? Like, is there any tips? Like, if there even is a game, I don't even know if he's gonna accept my request. Well, he did call you out a little bit by like saying that you were the reason why he lost. That's what I'm saying. I'm not like trying to hate on fly. I think he's a really really cool guy, but of course. you can't be blaming the cameraman on the court. If Noah one v one's fly, well, first off, I think you'd win easily. Like, shoot, I know you're a shooter. Yes, so sir. I mean, cameraman shooter and basketball shooter if he actually accepts it come on it's june fly <laughs> anyways that's really all i needed thank you bro you're gonna leave yep it was nice seeing you, you gotta go dip out. that two hours was kind of crazy traffic and <laughs> yeah bro i i know i could have called you but that's like so no, like that's weird that's weird but thank you bro right, peace out bro all right i don't know man All right, so enough with the basketball talk. I already know I can beat that fool. So anyway, I just got back from San Diego. I'm in LA now. You guys are probably wondering, Noah, you really drove two hours to go ask Rug for an opinion? Yes, I did. But today is gonna be a little bit different. And for that reason is you guys are always asking me, Noah, where did you get your pants? Where did you get your shirt? Where did you get your shoes? You're always asking me, Noah, where do you get your clothes at? Well, today I'm gonna be challenging myself by going to a thrift store and trying to pick an entire outfit at that thrift store. Basically, I wanna show you guys that you can literally buy clothes from anywhere and still make them stylish because I don't care if I buy my shirt at a Gucci store or a thrift store I can still make it work I'm still dripping so I hit up my local thrift store and I said yo do you think you guys can hook me up with like $150 in credit you know help the boy out so right now we're gonna go to that thrift store try and find an entire outfit at that thrift store and I'm gonna be wearing that for the rest of the day let's go find an outfit all right guys so this is my local shop it's called polish shout out to polish for giving me this little shopping spree they have hella shirts in there like vintage tees rock tees graphic t-shirts basically a lot of stuff that people used to wear back in like the 80s and 90s and they have some new stuff too so I'm about to go in there but basically I was explaining to them that you guys are giving me a little shopping spree today yeah, go ahead. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Sounds good. All right, let's do it. Ain't nothing fishy but the calamari. Moving by my dolly. But I'm not lonely. God bless all my OGs. We haven't spoken six months. You do not know. I think I already found a shirt. And we're staying under like the price range 150. So that's like $50 for the shirt. We have like 100 left for the pants and maybe some accessories. We're looking pretty good. All right, guys. So this isn't just a regular thrift store. They have a freaking like barber shop back here. Yo, I just wanted to show my vlog. You guys just have a barber shop and a thrift store. Like that's different. You guys are just changing the game out here. Look at this. We're gonna get back to it. I might have to get a cut after though. That's fire. So I found these two items. We got a Beatles shirt. The Vree. The fry? I don't know. I dropped out of school. But Cindy, what do you think of this combo so far? It looks good. Colors complement each other. Exactly. So I'm trying to go more simplistic. You already know, like, you know, that's me. I only have like $150 to spend here, right? I think these are like a hundred. Do you think they'll notice? Ooh, this is kind of tight. What is inside? Oh sh yeah. it's just my phone. It's a cannon sweater? Nah, we only with Sony, bro. Come on. It's like the cups in the 90s, you know what I mean? But I think we're gonna run with the shorts. You already know the best part about an outfit is always the shoes. I think they look pretty fire. So I think these are gonna complement the outfit. All right, so we got the whole entire outfit. We're about to put it on right now. But again, a huge shout out to Cindy and Polish. Thank you guys so much. And again, guys, vintage clothes are still good clothes. I just found a whole entire outfit that I personally like. And that's all that matters. If you like the outfit, then you can wear it. Yeah, we're vibing now. I think it's time to show you guys my new outfit. Woo! Look at the fit though. Okay, let's just show them real quick. We got the shorts on. We got the Nike SBs. And then we got the shirt, the vintage Beatles shirt. So, oh wait. The glasses too. Don't forget about the glasses. I just bought this entire outfit from a thrift store, but I want to go see the other side, you know, the expensive stuff. The stuff that when people see the price, they just want to throw up that type of shit. so we're about to go head to rodeo which is one of the most expensive places to buy clothes in la they got gucci they got louis and probably some shit your favorite rapper has said in a song so we're about to go see what's up and we'll catch you there differences i can sing when i spit i got a nigga who keep in the blick hbk on me i look like a lick i feel like a zombie the way i don't sleep i get a beat and leave that shit beat i got an insta all right, guys, you already know what it is, man. We're on Rodeo. And all I'm trying to say real quick is I changed. I'm a different person since I hit the thrift store. All my stuff that I have on right now is vintage. If it ain't vintage, I don't want that Get the fuck out of here. We're at this place called All Saints. I don't really care because if it ain't vintage, I ain't really with it anyway. We're about to see what's up inside there. Prices better be low, man. Ooh, this is a nice sweater. Feels nice, too. That says $300. Okay, a little bomber jacket action. Sorry, guys, by the way. I have to wear the face mask. It ain't vintage. It's not a vintage face mask, but I have to wear it anyway. Nice sweater. Quality feels great. The price is looking nice. Damn, guys, this is looking kind of fly. I don't know. It's only $55, but it's just not vintage, man. Yo, you find anything in there? No, bro. Everything was 
something new in there. I know you only rock with the old stuff, yep. you know, the, the vintage stuff. What about new cars? I didn't want you to ask me that question, but I mean, let's be honest, bro. This is new and all, it's cool, it's shiny. When you look at something more like this, I don't know, man. Look inside of the car, has the leather seating. I mean, I could still probably drive in it, and it's a little bit more vintage, a little bit more me. Call up a little shoddy, listen to some rock. That's just how I'm feeling. Those type of cars, they just ain't for me, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, you got the time on you? I don't keep time, bro. I'm all in the moment. I'm in the moment, bro. All right, well, I, I was just gonna let you know, just in case, you know, there is a watch store, like, right here. Like, aside from the time, bro, I just want to be home with my cat, you know, eating some Cheerios, maybe put on some Monster Zinc, get a little crazy, but as far as the time goes, I think I care about it, man. I'm just living in the present. Let me get this straight. They named the store Carter? No, bro, we're not going to Lady Gaga. that. Damn, people really be buying some expensive How you doing? Um, what you got there? Some MCM. Damn, I heard that it's expensive. You know, a couple thousand. What? Bro, is it vintage? No. Let's get the out of here. Like, that. That's what I love to see, man. Keep it in old school. Who the f is Lewis? I'm kinda getting bored of this. There's nothing really that I wanna. What's good, bro? Tensor, how you oh, been? Shit. What's Holy good, shit, what have you been I've up been a to? Minute, huh? What are you wearing? What the f do you mean? It's vintage. What is that? That, ain't, that ain't it. You know we're on Rodeo, right? Yeah, but like. You know it's... we're right next to Saks, right? Wait, yeah. what's Saks? It's just got drip. Better than this, I'll tell you that. Let's get you fitted. Let's get you fitted. Come on. Alright. What you think? Yeah, hey, I like it. I like it. Looking good. We kept the shoes and we kept the glasses. The glasses obviously had to stay because like they're just too tight. But um, yeah, this is what I ended up getting from Rodeo. Subi shirt, Subi jeans. I'm a Subi guy. As you guys can see, I actually have a plus right here. And if you look on the back of these jeans, there's pluses all right here. That's obviously not why I got this plus. It's because of positivity. But nonetheless, I hope you guys did enjoy that little shopping experience.